Today I'm going to show you how I made our window covers for our, our niece. I almost said sprinter. We don't have a sprinter. Okay, so yeah, here's what you do. Step one, measure. So the stuff you're going to need is... <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad. Today I'm going to show you how I made our magnetic window covers for our rear windows on our Nissan Envy 2500. Couple of things to note, um, your windows may not be the same size. So when you're cutting your template, make sure that the windows are either the same size or you may need two templates, things to know. Another thing, make sure that you make your template a little bit bigger than you think because this right here, this window cover was actually for my larger window, our larger window, and it ended up being too small so I had to use it on the smaller one and it worked just fine. Um, so yeah, what you will need is a template, some kind of a glue, hot glue or fabric glue. I personally do not like fabric glue. It's really hard to work with. So the hot glue gun is a little bit easier in my opinion. If you know how to sew, more power to you. Sew if you want. I'm jealous. I don't know how to sew. <laughs> some glue sticks. Some kind of a fabric. I use an old sheet that we don't use, so you can use that, or a tablecloth, whatever you have laying around, or buy something, I don't care. Some kind of an insulation, this is called Insulbrite. You could use this, or I think you can also use Reflectix or whatever insulation you have. I like this because it's really flexible. Magnets, scissors, and some kind of a trim. So I like this one because it's really flexible and it already comes folded for you. So you get an even trim. Anyway, I'll link everything that I use below. So if you wanna do it this way, you can. It's not the most beautiful thing. If you know how to sew, it will look better, but I don't know how to sew and you know, it's it functions and it works really well. You can't see anything from the outside. So yeah, it's perfect. So let's get started. All right, so I am currently heating up my hot glue gun, plug that bad boy in. Um, so the first step is to trace your template. I am just going to use the smaller um, window cover because like I said, I originally made this for the larger one and it was a little too small and it fit perfectly on the smaller one. So I'm just gonna trace it, make it a little bit bigger. Um, I folded the material in half because you'll need a layer for the front and the back and this way you only have to cut once. So, you know, work smarter, not harder. So I'm going to trace it and then I'm going to pin it um, around the edges before I cut it so that the bottom layer doesn't move around while I'm cutting it. So that's it. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so I just finished um, cutting the front and the back of the window cover. Um, I forgot to mention that you may want pins. Optional. Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing for this insulation, but because I sort of guessed on the size of the window cover, I'm just going to use one of these to trace and cut the insulation part of the window cover. All right, so now I've cut the three layers for the window shade. Let's move this out of the way to figure out which direction it goes. All right, well, it's not perfect, but you can trim it. So you'll need a front, a back, and then the insulation in the middle. A thing to note, you may want to figure out which side is your front and which side is your back because like I said, the shape of the window isn't, um, it's a very weird um, shape. So I would definitely recommend figuring out which side is the back so that you can put the magnets towards the side that it's going to be sticking to. So I don't know that it actually matters that much, but just my recommendation. I'm gonna remove the insulation, but remember which way it goes. And 
I'm going to figure out where I want to put the magnets. I'm using 12 of them. like that looks pretty good um, so yeah I'm ready to glue these on to the fabric and I would put them kind of close to the end yeah put them on the edge all right so yeah they're all about like six inches apart I feel like that looks good I'm gonna get my hot glue gun and start gluing these down to the fabric. Yeah, okay. I'm also gonna use a cardboard box underneath because the fabric will stick to the counter. Take my advice on that. Oh no, okay. Well, I guess you should put it under the box before. Oh no, all right. Take two. All right, so put the box down first. And then put the magnets. The box isn't even big enough. It's fine, I'll just move it. So for real, I think this time I'm ready to start gluing the magnets to the fabric. I have this fish, well, this is my mom's. My mom has this little fish cutting board that she uses to put her not glue gun on. All right, I'm gonna speed this up because it's gonna be really boring for you to watch. All right, so all of the magnets have been glued on. See, they stick to the cardboard a little bit, but no big deal. Pop them up like that, dries pretty quick. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is now glue the insulation down to the fabric. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. And again, I'm just gonna have to move it as I go because the box is a little smaller than the shade. Okay, so now, Go this way, make sure it goes the right way because like I said, it's not the right way. Goes that way. All right. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm gonna trim around the side. Actually, I think you just need to glue the magnets because you're going to put a trim on. No, I am gonna glue around the side. I don't know. I made this up, so. Well, I made it up based off of another tutorial that I watched. So I think I am, I don't remember what I did for the first one, if I'm being honest with you. I think I am going to glue all the way around. No, I'm not. I'm gonna just stick the insulation to the magnets. I'm going to I'm going to glue <laughs> the entire outside of this. I feel like I'm going to regret it if I don't. Like it's going to move around a lot. This is just how I am, okay? I just I wing things a lot of the time and ow. Oh, that really hurt. <sighs> okay. This is what happens when you have a wing it mentality. You go back and forth, you're not really prepared, but I'm so deep into this video that now I have to commit. So, can't undo it, it just is what it is. And naturally, it's not lining up perfectly, but you know what? I don't care. I can trim. I can trim the outside of the excess. The I can trim off the excess 
insulation if I feel inclined to do so, which I don't know, I think I'm sort of beyond that. That's good. It turned out pretty good. All right, did it dry? Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, so it's just a little bit bigger over there. I'm going to trim that up. Originally, I wanted to make this like a how-to video, like how with the number two and make this a two minute long video, but <laughs> That's not gonna happen. All right, cool. So, that's good. So now I have to do the same thing and put the fabric down on the back. And so I'm just going to take the hot glue gun and do the trim around the back side and then put the, the this on the fabric. Figure out which way it goes. Why do they make the windows so weird? They're so oddly shaped. Like, why can't they just be a square? Because that's not right. Okay. I don't know why I keep doing that. All right, I'm gonna time lapse this because I'm sure I'm being really boring. All right, so I just finished um, gluing on the back. I burned myself like 600 times and I think it's because I became overconfident because this is the second shade that I've made and so basically I'm a professional now. Um, so we are ready to glue on the trim. Oh, also, Liam and I got married yesterday, so these are my flowers. Aren't they pretty? So pretty. All right. So, basically, I'm just going to do one time lapse because it becomes the same. So, basically, I'm going to, I'm going to do the bottom first. Or do I do the top first? It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm going to glue one side all the way around, probably the bottom side first, and then I'll go back and fold it over and glue the top side down. And yeah, see what I'm done doing that. All right, I had to pause a time lapse because I've been on this corner for like, I don't know, five minutes, I don't know, I'm not keeping track of time. Anyway, the like little corners here, they're a doozy. So just be mindful of that and you're just going to have to fold it and then put a little bit of glue underneath, like a hem. Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's what my mom called it the first time I made it with her. Oh my gosh. You know, I did, I think I did a better job on the first one as far as like the trim goes. And also I'm doing the front. I said I was going to do the bottom. So I feel like I probably should have done the bottom first, but I don't know. I think I'm going to turn it around. Ugh. What a mess.
All right, that's fine. That's not what I meant to do, but. That is how I made our window shades. Now, if you are into perfection and doing things that aren't that look nice, maybe this isn't the tutorial for you, but if you're a little more go with the flow, you don't mind a few little messy corners there, then try it. Leave a comment. Let me know how it worked out for you. Thanks for watching. Ta-da! It's not perfect, but it's functional.